one, Miss Abby here. On April 22nd, it's Earth Day. And in honor of Earth Day, I wanted to read Our House is on Fire, Greta Thunberg's Call to Save the Planet. Maybe you've heard of Greta Thunberg, and she is a young girl who became a climate activist and an environmental activist. She's inspiring young people and people all over the world to get involved in climate justice and make sure that climate change doesn't ruin the earth. And she's also pushing for people in power and people in the government to take action to help save the planet. And just a reminder, even though Earth Day only happens one day a year, you can celebrate Earth Day every day by trying to take steps to help save the earth, like recycling, composting, picking up trash when you see it, and um, turning off electronics and things like that when you are at home. Our House is on Fire by Jeanette Winter. You are never too small to make a difference. Greta Thunberg said that, and she was just a young kid when she started her activism. Our house is on fire. Greta is a quiet girl who led a quiet life in the city of Stockholm. Her dog Roxy was her friend. All my life, I've been invisible. The invisible girl in the back who doesn't say anything. In school, she felt alone. Then one day, Greta's teacher talked to the class about the climate, about how our planet is getting warmer, about how the polar ice is melting, about how animals' lives are threatened, and ours are too. That's when Greta's life changed. She read for hours and watched film after film about warming, about our warming world. Greta could think about one thing for a long, long time. Her brain was good at that, about thinking about one thing. She saw ice melting into the sea, disappearing. She saw mighty winds and torrential rains howling across the land. She saw coral reefs deep down in the sea, pale as ghosts bleached by the warming waters. Here there's a before picture, what we want coral reefs to look like, and an after picture. Greta saw living creatures everywhere struggling to stay alive. Greta saw floodwaters covering houses and people and animals. So this is her mind kind of thinking about all the terrible things that could happen as the weather, as the climate continues to warm. She saw cities swallowed under rising oceans. She saw the smoldering sun scorch the earth, leaving it bone dry. She saw blazing wildfires racing through the forests. Our house is on fire. Greta became sad, thinking about the climate all the time. She barely ate or spoke. Those pictures were stuck in my mind. The sad days went on for a long time, each day more unhappy than the next. There might not be a world to live in when she grows up. What use is school without a future? What can I do? She wondered. Greta decided to go on strike from school for the climate. Her parents understood. A strike is when you stop doing something in order for people to notice. And so she went on strike from school for the climate. And it says strike for climate in Swedish. Greta skipped school one Friday and took her poster, School Strike for Climate, to the Parliament building to sit on strike. She hoped lawmakers would see her. People walked past, too busy to notice. Greta was invisible there, too. She was at the Parliament building every Friday, even in the rain. Then word of her strike began to spread. Little by little, other school strikers joined her. On Fridays, Stockholm, school, Stockholm schools were a bit empty. So many kids came that even the schools were empty on Friday. 
More people started noticing the child strikers and more spread and word spread through cyberspace about the Friday school strikes. And here's all these different ways to say strike in different languages. Children started striking everywhere. If grown-ups won't act to save the planet, children will. The quiet girl who always felt invisible was asked to speak to very important people at the United Nations, climate talks in Poland. Greta only spoke when she thought it was necessary. You say you love your children above all else, and yet you are stealing their future in front of their very eyes. We need to keep the fossil fuels in the ground. These are things that she said at her speech. The quiet girl was invited to speak to important people at the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland. It was necessary to speak. I don't want you to be hopeful. I want you to panic. I want you to feel the fear I feel every day. I want you to act as if the house was on fire. Because it is. She's trying to get these government people to act. Greta's protest all alone sparked a worldwide children's march. Her quiet voice, joined by thousands of voices, became a roar. Can you hear us? And here's a picture of so many children striking and protesting for climate justice and for climate change. What will you do? There were countries on August 20th, 2018. She started her call to action. And in many countries, it culminated in a worldwide action on Friday of March 15th, 2019. And there were tons of countries all over the world where kids marched for climate change. What can you do to help climate change? I hope you enjoyed that book and you feel inspired by Greta Thunberg's actions. Bye.